Hello everyone, uh, I'm making a tutorial to remove the tampered banner on your phone. If I can just get this up real quick, uh, it looks something like this. When you're in the bootloader, after doing maybe S off, or trying to obtain security off, this may have happened. See, yeah, like a tampered banner up at the top where it's black. And I'll show you how to get rid of that, uh, thanks to a fellow Scotty1223. Yep, that's one. One two two three has um made a elevated um A to B shell command that gets rid of the tampered banner. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm just gonna get out of the bootloader there, and you're gonna need a couple things, the prerequisites before we continue. Uh, I'll just wait for my phone to turn on, but you'll definitely need the drivers, which are available to download from the H drivers application. Which I've made and it's available on XDA developers. I'll leave a link down below. And also, if you don't want to download the uh, H drivers, you can just download the individual packages. I'll also have them linked down below. So, once your phone is on, you will need to enable uh, USB debugging. And with that, you'll also need to enable um, developer options. So, if you haven't done that yet, go to About and then go to Software Information, then go to More. Then tap the build number seven times until you get the message uh, you become a developer. But I'm already a developer, so I just need to hit back. And you should see the developer options right there. Click OK. And make sure it's on up here. And make sure you check USB debugging. And you'll also need to be rooted uh, on your device. Uh, I haven't done that yet. This is just the developer edition, which is converted from a stock like unlocked one but I'll show you how to get root here real quick all you have to do is go on to talroot.com just tap on the lambda and it should download I've already downloaded it once but that's alright and basically you just gotta install it yep so just hit install uh, I understand install anyway hit open and this will uh, attempt to root your device some people say it doesn't work on HTC phones, but I've been using it pretty much constantly, even on the Google Play Edition, but I don't know if it's anything to do with being s off already or any other variables. But you just tap on that, and you should, it, shall, it now says you should have root, no reboot required. So now you're rooted, all you have to do is plug in your device into the computer, get my USB cable, like so. And it says USB debugging and it uh, connected or enabled. And you also need to extract the Android files that we've downloaded earlier. Sorry for the microphone change, there was a disturbance when I was trying to record. And now the rest will have to be manually uh, edited. So now that we've uh, downloaded the Android files.zip, which is now, uh, which is also in the more info down below, uh, you're just going to want to extract all the files there. You should have four files. I've just put them in an Android folder on the root of one of my drives. In this case, D drive, you should receive those four files. As those folders are mine there, I put them there to organize my files. But now to open a command window in the directory, hold shift and right click and select open command window here. What you want to do next, I'll just uh, zoom in with the old camera here to get a better view. Uh, so what you want to type in now is ADB devices. Uh, this is just to check that your device has been detected by the computer and to also start up the daemon so we don't have to wait. So as you can see here, it's detected my device and it's in the device mode, so booted up into Android, so it's not unauthorized or offline. If it is, make sure your device is online, uh, so it just says device. So what you want to now type is ADB shell, and we'll give you a little dollar sign, which you have to type now is SU. Uh, you might have to accept root permissions on your phone, but make sure it's changed into a little uh, hashtag. And next, all you have to do is want to copy the code down below, uh, it's a bunch of numbers using the echo any command and this will change the block where it shows the tempered stick sorry the tempered uh, banner and change it to none or zero uh, the XDA thread will be down below if you have any problems with that uh, thanks to Scotty1223 for this and just type in ADB reboot bootloader and now you should be in the bootloader and as you can see the tempered banner has disappeared so if you did like this video and found it helpful, feel free to leave a like and also subscribe down below. And thank you for tuning in. 
and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.